Hi all and welcome back to my ongoing let's play of Sea of Stars. We are on our way to Yeet in order to continue with the adventure. But before we do that, I just want to say that if you are enjoying this adventure or the channel at large, I would love it if you hit those like and subscribe buttons. And for those of you who just did, thank you very much. And for those who are here for this adventure, it's super cool to stick around anyway, of course. And as always, during gameplay, I will only be reading information and dialogue. Do this. A strange device just south of Mesa Island. Seems out of reach, but maybe we should look at the small island just below it. I'll do anything for Carl. Brugovs is gone. But Erlina will pay for this. Hmm. Hey, you want to hear a story? No, oh, thank you. Yeet stands still, awaiting a magic word. Have you found any new building plans? Master Fisherman, welcome to Merth's one and only fishing house. I want to thank you again for letting me use this place. It's a fisherman's dream come true. I have three fishing rod upgrades for you. But you will need to earn them. It's pretty simple. I'll be tracking how many different species you have caught, and at certain milestones, you get an upgrade. Sounds good? Good. There aren't any fish unique to the lake connected to this house, but I'll be adding to it any species you have already caught. Let's see if we can complete the roster, shall we? Hey there, did you go fishing lately? Check species count. Hey, you caught 15 different species. That means I got something for you. Got stereofilament line. Got mithril rod. Got bearing reel. See your words list. Welcome to the fishing shop. Something flimsy, 23 fishes. Fishing rod upgrade, made of sturdy material to offer more leeway when reeling in a stubborn catch and take more damage before breaking. Bearing reel, easier to spin and never jams, increases reeling speed. Mithril rod, a sturdy fishing rod that carries so much power it intimidates the catch, causing its stamina to deplete faster. And I will leave all of these three on because we got them through the story in the game. You 
caught a ghost sturgeon. You caught a clockwork crab. Redrus had say. Any business for me today? Turning conscience. You found three, uh, 33 conscience so far. Keep them coming. Something healthy. Skyward Shrine Bridge. Sarai, the shrine you saw, it's that thing over there? Yes, I'm sure of it. This is how we reach the ones who can grant access to the Sea of Stars. It's way out of reach. Did your vision contain anything about how to get to it? I, um, uh, not, not really. I just know deep down that we have everything we need. Hello there. Paths on water. Huh? Way to go, Valer. Quite impressive. How did you know? The Oracle of Tides. He said I could mend the connection. That was unreal. And we get to walk on it now. Come on. Skyward Shrine. Thank you. 
Skyish fine. Did it work? Sure did. This is definitely the place. Let's go. Skybound Lagoon. Unknown and Ninja Starfish. You caught a cloud skate. Ninja Starfish. You caught a Sky Urchin. Sky Urchin, Cloud Skate, and Ninja Starfish. Cloud Kingdom. Air Elemental Skyland. you seek out here? An audience? What? There's a council thing, I think. Let's look around. Loud Kingdom.
Round 1, Question Pack 6. New music sheets. Aye, give him air. Bet you were the only band with a ghost in it. How do you like a tunes? Notice how I spin it? Wheels player. Wanna play some wheels? Champion game. Hey, you won! Congratulations! Here's your prize! 
found one priest figurine. makes the priest class playable in wheels. Villager, small visitors. Did Luana mend the connection at last? Little ones, are you going to meet the council? If so, I wish you luck. They can be very difficult. Found one true silver daggers. Stolen from pirates of old. Merchant, hello down there. I'm the local craftsman. Some of the smaller jewels I create should be just your size. Want to take a look? Common protein that fills you up. Found one cloudy shard. Teeks might get a story from this. Council number two, who demands audience? Council number one, present yourself. <clears throat> I am the one demanding audience. Council member three, we can hear you just fine. No need to shout. Uh, oops. Name? Carl. Title? What? Title? His title is Warrior Cook. Hmm. Luana? Warrior Cook, it is our understanding that you are on borrowed time. I am, and I have a request. Then speak. It's for my friends here. I want you to grant them access to the Sea of Stars. Do you understand what you're asking of us? Absolutely. And who will vouch for you? Vouch? I don't know, I thought we could just... I will. Great Eagle, you honor us with your presence. Tell us, then, do they possess the key? 
Yes. They have reclaimed the Vespertine. Do they possess the strength? Yes. Luana and Solon have awoken. Their wish is to accept this final gift from their friend and complete their journey. Do they possess the will? Sarai? <gasps> How did she get here? Determination. We deem this group of travelers satisfactory. This leaves only the matter of the deed. What does the warrior cook intend to offer in exchange for his friend's passage? I hope you have a plan. Well, what do you propose? I will wake the sleeper. <gasps> you would bring total destruction to this world? What makes you believe we would accept such a proposition? Don't worry, I'll make it friendly again. The Elder Mist once told me that I might soothe a long tormented soul. This is what he meant, I'm certain of it. That is a tall order. What is your plan? The runes in the moorlands. I wasn't sure at first, but now I know what they mean. There are no more ovates. How then? I will complete the ritual of the elements by cooking with them. Impossible. We agree to entertain your plan. How will you use water? Magic dew to instantly grow the crops I'll need. Sea monsters are extinct. Magic dew will not manifest without an enchanted scale. Don't worry, I know just the place to find one. How about fire then? Natural heat from the volcano without a name. Preposterous! The lava monster would kill you instantly. It's okay, my friends are pretty strong. Earth? The volcano will be terraformed by magic, so I can use it to summon summit as a giant oven to bake my creation. And I suppose you know just the wizard. Sure do, and that volcano will finally have a name. Kiln Mountain. Don't push your luck, kid. We like the name. At least the final element. How does wind come into play? We will capture Zever in a bottle. When my creation is complete, I will let it carry the scent to the sleeper's nostrils. And why do you require a volcano-sized oven? Because I will bake the biggest loaf of bread the world has ever seen. <laughs> and what makes you believe that it will be enough to make the sleeper friendly again? Oh come on, no one can be grumpy when they wake up to the smell of freshly baked bread. We find no valid counter-argument. If you can truly soothe the sleeper, we will grant your friends access to the Sea of Stars. The volcano is now open. You will also need this. Got Wind Key. Right on. Great job up there, Carl. Yeah, that went well. I have never seen the council so easily swayed. Okay, let's go back and plan this whole thing.
found one rainbow in Karch. And I think this is the place where I will end up this part. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you all for following along in this Sea of Stars adventure. We were once again gambling there for a bit. I hope you are enjoying this as much as I am. If you are, please hit those like subscribe buttons. And I would also enjoy if I saw you again in the next part. But for now, it's time to say bye bye.